Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be making an AI which will take over the world. Well, I meant the game world for which the AI will be programmed. Basically, we will make an AI which will learn to find its way out of the maze using an algorithm known as Q-learning. So what is Q-learning? Q-learning is a reinforcement learning algorithm in which there is an agent and an environment. The agent interacts with the environment by performing an action and the environment in turn returns it the next state and the reward for its actions. The goal of the agent is to get more positive cumulative reward which eventually teaches it to play the game. In our case we would be giving the agent a reward of negative 1 for its every move and a positive reward of say 50 for finding its way to the exit of the maze. Too easy right? Let's get started. As always I would be using python programming language to make this AI. We'll start with making a maze. A maze is an area with walls in it. Oh hold on, I know you guys know what a maze is. For convenience we will be using a 2D array to store the state of the maze where zeros would represent the walls of the maze. And we will use OpenCV to show the image of the maze to us. There you go, this is how a very very basic maze will look like. Since I will be making many mazes, it would be difficult for me to hard code the position of the walls every time. So let us make a tool which would help us to automate this process, a GUI kind of stuff. We'll name it the maze designer. It's quite simple to code the maze designer. We'll open up a window to detect mouse clicks. Click on a block and it turns into a wall. Awesome. And if you guys don't have any idea regarding detecting mouse clicks, check out my video in which I programmed an AI to destroy duck hunt game by automating mouse clicks. Done with that, now it's time to design the maze environment for our AI using our very own maze designer. After that we'll begin training the agent. By the way, I'm also working on a project to teach an AI to play snake game using deep queue learning. It's taking some time but it will come out soon, so check it out. Done with the maze, now let us bring the agent in and start training. You can notice that I added a few buttons on the right indicating the action the agent is about to take. The golden block on the opposite end is the exit and where it's where the AI is trying to reach. The number of episodes is also displayed down below. Initially the agent takes random actions and by interacting with the environment it learns what's good for it and what is shit. Even after 500 episodes the AI didn't learn anything. It hadn't reached the exit even once. Well actually I'm wrong to say it hadn't learned anything. It did learn. It learned shit. That's it. Just shit. Here, take a glimpse. I checked the code and found that the epsilon was too high. Epsilon is the value between 0 and 1 which decides how much random shit the AI can do. As training progresses, epsilon decreases, thus the AI explores less and uses the shit it has learned till now. Because of high epsilon, our AI kept doing random shit and didn't learn anything useful. I hope you get it. Well, epsilon is a hyperparameter of Q-learning. A hyperparameter is basically a parameter that we have to decide, unfortunately. And I must admit, it's not easy. With the right hyperparameters, your AI would learn to play some bloody f***ing games such as Dota 2. And with the wrong ones, your AI would learn to behave like a perfect d*****. And force you to believe that you are the dumbest person in the whole universe. So after suffering with a beautiful headache for hours, I managed to tune the hyperparameters to get our AI learning. I enlarged the screen size, and for better monitoring, I displayed the hyperparameters on the right. I even added some small sub-goals for the AI to accelerate the training process. And by 300th episode, the AI could find its way to the exit. Hell yeah, baby. But we should still continue the training process because our AI is still in exploration mode. By training longer, we ensure that the AI makes up its mind regarding what is good and what is shit. And by the 1000th episode, it definitely understood its sole purpose in life. Good one, mate. We did it. Show me something better, tougher, stronger.
Let's test it, mate. Nice fucking dancing skills, but I will still shoot you if you don't complete it.